Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Questions and today we're going to look at using GPG Keychain Access. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is to create yourself a keychain pair. And you can do this by clicking on the new key icon at the top left hand corner of the application. Click on the disclosure triangle to have a look at the advanced options. Fill in your full name, your email address and maybe a comment if you want to. And you can tell it to upload the key after generation. Leave the key type as the default and for the length of the key I suggest you go with the 2048, it's going to be sufficient. If you make it longer it's going to make it harder to decrypt by brute force or whatever other methods that people have but I think the uh, default is going to be sufficient. And we can turn off the key expires and let's click generate key. You need to put in a passphrase. I use 1Password to create my passphrase. So what I shall do is I'll go into 1Password, I'm going to create a new password in there and save it so I'll always remember it. And then I'm going to click on OK when I've got this done. You could have a password that is 123456. I don't think that's going to be a good idea though. Choose something good. The one I've created has got 20 odd characters in it and it's not going to be easily found. It's got plenty of entropy in there. So you have to enter your password twice. And now to generate for your random bytes, you move your mouse around and in a very short time you'll have your new GPG key pair. Now once you've actually created your GPG keychain pair, what you want to do is to start using it. So let's do an export of this so that we can send it off to somebody. We're going to give it a name. You could just use the short ID that's on there, but it's probably a good idea to actually give it a name that's going to mean something to you. So I'm going to name it after the email address that I created it uh, with. I'm going to export it in the ASCII format. It is possible to send it out as a binary, but we're not going to do that. Let's just send it out as an ASCII file. And in this case, we don't want to allow secret key export. All we want to do is to export the public part of the key. So now the key has been exported and here it is over here, look. So now I can add that file to an email and the person at the other end will be able to use that to import it into a GPG keychain access application on their own Mac or whatever other computer they're using. What you can do is to open up a text editor and to use the services menu to insert your key. You could insert the key directly into an email that you're working on, but let's do it this way. Select the key that you want to use. We've just got one at the moment, so click on Choose Key. So from where it says Begin PGP Public Key Block down to the end there, including the dashes, that is your public key. And you can send that out or you can put it onto a website. Anyone can copy that and they can put it into their keychain and then they'll have the wherewithal to be able to send you an encrypted email message. So this is Dave Allen showing you how to get started with GPG and what I want you to do now is to send your public key out there so that you can have email sent to you that you can practice decrypting and also to get the public keys from other people so that you can send emails to them and you can practice encrypting your email messages and other things too. So this is Dave Allen. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.